Hello everyone, and welcome to my course. We're going to be analyzing what goes into making trailer music, what makes it licensable, and constructing an entire trailer track from scratch, sending it to a real-life publisher, and dealing with things like criticism and feedback. This course is the real deal, and I know you guys will benefit in some way from this, especially if you're in that stage where you have the potential, but don't know where to start. Let's watch Star Wars Rogue One, the teaser. Is that clear? Yes, sir. What will you do when they catch you? What will you do if they break you? If you continue to fight, Though the sound effect is famously from Star Wars, you have a hook sound that repeats while Brams hits sequentially, all under risers that lead up to the title reveal at the end. Having a hook sound is extremely important in trailers, whether it's an upfront and in-your-face sound, like the Star Wars trailer, or simply a piano note. The hook locks both the music and the listener into place. You only have a limited amount of time to get the listener interested, so the repetition of the hook sound will establish the track and guide the viewer through the trailer. However, both of the tracks from the trailers you watched are still not completely what we are going for. What you need to do is make a track that is 70% generic and 30% unique. Beforehand, it's important to understand that success in the trailer industry is not solely related to artistry and originality. Rather, it's more about your skills in audio production and understanding the trailer formula. It's not the nicest thing to hear, but it should be embraced. And audio production can be an art of its own in a way. Remember to think from not the perspective of the composer or the publisher, but from the perspective of the editor working with your track. I have a theory that I like to call the toy box theory. If you make your track like a toy box for editors, your chances of getting a placement will drastically increase. What do I mean by toy box? I mean filling your track with variety, different parts that still feel connected, but different enough to feel almost as if you have multiple tracks in one. This, as well as putting in moments like risers and hits that act as tools for the editor to perhaps cut out and use in other places. It's tricky to outright explain it solely on paper, so check out Canceller from myself. Canceller was the track that made me realize that editors need variety. It's helpful to consider your track as not only music, but a set of tools in the editor's hands. In this course, we'll be creating a track from scratch, start to finish. However, to give you as much perspective as I can, the track will be split into three genres. The intro will be aiming towards sound design, the buildup will be hybrid, and both climaxes will be fantasy adventure. This will help you understand not only how to create a licensable track, but will expose you to the writing process of three different genres at once. 
Perhaps you're struggling with finding the right formula or structure. Perhaps you already know exactly what you're doing but would like to expand your knowledge. Or perhaps you're not even in the music industry and want to see what goes into making a trailer track. Either way, this course will help you no matter where you come from or what your motive in trailer music is. But it will help you most if you understand that good trailer music is a combination of two things. Understanding and practice. I'm here to give you the understanding and show you how a track is made so you can then practice. So without further ado, get ready to get started.